Rubber is a unique tree crop that can elevate poverty among rural farmers, especially women, since they can earn some income at the end of every month after cultivation. This is Ghanian Farmer. My name is Enyon. I'm joined the conversation on our social media platform and watch this episode in case you miss on YouTube, The Ghanian Farmer. Many thanks to our proud partner, NAFCO. I will be coming your way with 60 seconds on our grid that highlights on the trends in the agricultural sector and what can we make with rubber. That is an interesting one. This is Ghanian Farmer. I'm going for a quick bit. I'll be right back after this. Agriculture is the food basket of a nation and therefore the heart of Ghana. It contributes up to 54% of Ghana's GDP and accounts for over 40% of export earnings, at the same time providing over 90% of the food need of the country. This is due to the hard work of the Ghanaian farmer. Join me and your name as we visit the farm, the market and agricultural based industries. That's not all, we will also bring you recipes for finger licking delicacies made with crops grown by the Ghanaian farmer. The Ghanaian farmer. Business tilling the land. Joining me, you are still watching the Ghanaian farmer. My name is Enyanam. Today, I'm joined by the best youth farmer at the just and the 2020 National Farmers Day celebrated in Ghana. His name is Enchi Siaku, aka Junior Chamaun to me, CEO of KR Farms. Thanks for joining me. Eh? Thank you. Kame, how are you? I'm doing great. Right, so straightforward. Yeah. How long has it been since you started? Uh, this is my fifth year. First year? Sure. How would you describe the experience? Uh, I would say it's been a bit, um, it's my first farm, I've never been a farmer before, so a lot of challenges, but um, going forward it's been great, right. I would say it's been wonderful. Yeah. Okay, I haven't seen a rubber seedling before, Okay. do you have some, can you show me some? And so that's, um, yeah, that's a rubber seed. So this is a rubber seed, Good. this is how it looks like? That's how it looks like. Okay, take me through the process of planting it before we even see it at the stage. Great, so um, this is not what we plant. Mm -hmm. Um, there's a process that it goes through a whole lot of process. Okay. So we go for the already established mm. nursery mm. to plant. Mm. So you come to the farm, it's in a polar bag, just okay. as every, every, every nursery. Right. So you do a pegging, a lining pegging of um, 20 by 10 mm -hmm. feet. Mm. So um, you dig a hole of about one foot, then you plant them as easy as it is. Okay. Yeah. So after planting, how long does it take for me to see this? Uh, you need about seven years. B for Wait, harvesting? Yeah, for harvesting. How old is this one? This is about four years. Mm -hmm. Four years? Yeah. So you're still waiting for, for three more years? Exactly, just the harvesting. Did you know about this? Yeah, I did. And you were prepared for Investment, it? Investment, so. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, interesting. You yes. have a, uh, the spirit of an entrepreneur. Exactly. I'm excited about that. Now let's discuss some of the challenges that goes into rubber plantation. Um, what are they? I would say with the casualties. Um, um, let's say you need about 250 rubber seedlings, okay. I mean nursery, for an acre. So let's say if you do an, you do, you're doing an acre of um, rubber plantation and you plant 250, uh -huh. you don't expect all the 250 to, do, to try. Exactly. So what that happens is you have to keep replacing them uh -huh. the first, second year, usually right. at most. Okay. First, second year, mm. you have to keep replacing them. Mm. So what you realize is um, they all don't catch up. You mm. have some being bigger than the others. Mm. So it's very difficult to have all the rubber plants at the same size after the seventh year. Okay. So naturally, if you're looking at, let's say, a thousand trees. You might not get all exactly. the yields you're expecting. So it means your, your yield will come down. Right. That's one of the biggest How challenges. much does one nursery cost? Uh, it depends. Um, here, we are buying it for like two cities, 50 pesos. For okay. One. Yeah. So between if you're calculating, let's say, 40 acre, that's yeah. huge sum of money. Exactly. You need a lot of money to, to do that. I see. Yeah. Now, you said something interesting. You told me that rubber uses fertilizer. Exactly. How? A lot of that. Explain. Uh, it's just like any other tree, it's just like cocoa, which needs fertilizer. It needs fertilizer to grow, especially in its tender age. Um, a lot of um, um, NPK. Basically, that's what we do with it. Like, yeah, a lot of NPK mm -hmm. first year, mm -hmm. 
And it's not just even once, mm -hmm. you do it twice in, 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 in the season. Mm. So the first minor season and the major season, mm. you have to give it fertilizer for mm. like three, four years. Okay. Then you just pause it right, right there. It doesn't mean it stops, but then if you do it like it's that enough. way, it's enough. And okay. It thrives better. Right. Ideally, they start seven years, uh -huh. but then with proper fertilizing, proper farming practices, uh -huh. I should think maybe six years you can start harvesting right. your rubber. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's possible. Is there a viable market for rubber? Yeah, in there Ghana? is. There is. In Ghana, I wouldn't say there is. Uh -huh. Most of what we do is just plant it, get the raw material, mm -hmm. and give it to the companies. Yeah. We have a company over here that buys it that from That buys it from exactly. you after so harvesting. They export. So They're, you don't struggle to sell? All. Not at all. Okay. Not at all. Okay, that's not fine. At all. Yeah. Right. Let's also touch on um, how you were able to handle this 40 acre of farm good i'm talking about labor exactly how do you go about it so um uh when we started the farm uh -huh. we actually employed full-time workers mm. had about 15 people mm. from the clearing to the planting to everything but we did it in phases it wasn't all done at once we did it in two in two phases first year and second year so we did four, um, 20 acres in the first year and 20 acres in the second year okay. so we have full-time employed people about 15 people mm. who did the planting who did the fertilizing mm. So after planting and fertilizing, basically all you do is just weed around them. I see. So it's basically weeding and weeding and weeding. And um, in the first early stages, you do a lot of pruning. Okay. You know, before you get the yeah. straight edge. Mm. So you have to prune it mm -hmm. almost every two months. You have mm. to keep pruning until mm. you leave it to some There's height. a lot of work. A lot of work goes into I it. I know other crops deal, has to do with pest infestation. Exactly. Uh, Robert, do you have any of I think with the uh. initial, when you plant them initially, uh -huh. um, it has like an eye okay. that can easily be affected by termites. Mm. So you just do some little um, termite, mm -hmm. whatever, like just put it around mm. it in the ring form. Mm. But that's the initial stages, but mm. we don't really put much, we don't do much of in pesticides, insecticide around this. Do I need some special knowledge before I can go into this kind of farming? Uh, I wouldn't say yes, and I wouldn't say no. Okay. You need somebody who has the technical know-how. Mm. Um, indirectly, if you want to come um, own a rubber farm, I, I think, it's just basic farming practices, mm. the lining and pegging. So you need somebody to just help you out. I'm sure if you're here for like a month, maybe you probably will learn everything about rubber. I it's see. not that difficult. Not Let's at look all. at the value uh, addition of rubber. Okay. After it's harvested, what and what? Uh, you told me, you mentioned my Wellington yes. boot. Yes. What else can we use rubber? So, can we, you know, condoms, it? condoms are made out of rubber. Condoms? Exactly. Condoms, surgical gloves, yeah, surgical hey, gloves, yeah. everything is rubber. I see, yeah. interesting. So, I was even car told ties, car ties, car ties, ties. Exactly. the women uh, are artificial hair. I don't, told, I, I don't know about that one. You don't know about I, that. Yeah. Okay, that's fine. Um, quickly, let's touch on how you are planning to get some form of help from government. Okay. Investment, this is a huge investment. How are you dealing with that? Are you looking for any form of help, anything? Is there anything uh, you want? I think there is a lot mm. that could be done with the few rubber I would say we produce in Ghana. Mm. Um, I'm not saying mm. that there is something right now, but there is something, we can look into something. Okay. I mean, try to create a factory, make use of the raw materials we actually make available here in Ghana than to just you know, harvest it and just export it and they'll bring out the finished products to, to use. Buy, so you why know. can't we look into something simple? Mm. There are so many things we can do with rubber. Looking at car bushings mm. and all that, we can create something okay. out of the raw materials we, pro we pro um, produce out of the rubber. Now I can't pinpoint and say government should do this or government should do that. Mm. But I believe there is something that if they really go into it and really have thorough um, 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 ideas they can mm. bring something out that, mm. that can help the whole country. Okay, you know? so viewers, you're watching the Ghanaian farmer. My name is Enyuna, and standing next to me is Kwame Entry Boys Yahoo, aka Chamaun to Virginia. <laughs> he owns 40 acres of rubber plantation farm in Asamayan Kessin, and he happens to be the overall best youth farmer at the just end of 2020 National Farmers Day. I'm going for a quick bit, I'll be right back after this. <laughs> Agriculture is the food basket of a nation and therefore the heart of Ghana. It contributes up to 54% of Ghana's GDP and accounts for over 40% of export earnings, at the same time providing over 90% of the food need of the country. This is due to the hard work of the Ghanaian farmer. Join me and your name as we visit the farm, the market and agricultural based industries. That's not all, we will also bring you recipes for finger-licking delicacies made with crops 
grown by the Ghanaian farmer. The Ghanaian farmer. Business tilling the land. I met Kelvin in town. When I first met him, it was love at first sight. The feeling was mutual. You see how I treat your father? Mm -hmm. The father loves me so much because I always give him good food. <laughs> I love Kelvin and with all the stress from his family, I didn't want to lose him. So I decided to act fast. Mother! Mm? Mm. Sorry. Mm. Where's the wedding family? <laughs> It wasn't Gigi or anything. Lizzie Tomato Mix was just what I needed to prove my worth. A depot will fear for you, and I have all that in just one pack. Lizzie Tomato Mix makes food taste delicious. Lizzie Tomato Mix can be found in some shops nationwide. This advertisement has been vetted and approved by the FDA. staying with us if you just tune in you're watching the Ghanaian farmer join us and share your thoughts about rubber plantation farm in Ghana if you are abroad you are here in Ghana subscribe to our YouTube channel and let's hear from you what you make of this particular kind of uh, uh, farming Kwame quickly when it's time for harvesting what uh, what kind of farm tools do you use and how do you even go about it okay so when it's time for harvest let's after the seventh year mm. We, we call it tapping. Okay. You're going to tap the rubber. You get the liquid out of it. Right. So okay, so it's a liquid. It's a liquid. Okay. It's in a liquid form. I thought when you cut the tree, then you're able you to... You don't cut the whole tree down. Hey. So rubber has a, it has a life, lifespan uh -huh. of about 40, 50 years. Whoa. So you wait for 70 years to start harvesting. You have about and you can four, harvest till for like 40 years. Yeah, on top 40 years. No, I understand why you have the patience to wait for seven years. It's an investment, I told you. <laughs> right. Yes. Okay. So, so what is it? Cutlass or what? Do you, is so that it's a, special? It's a special tool okay. that is used to scrape it. Like mm. you make a, an insertion mm -hmm. every day. Mm. You just there's a cup mm -hmm. that is being placed underneath. Okay. Then you make an insertion. Then okay. it drips in it every right. day. You just okay. tap it. Right. So you can tap it from January to December mm. every day. Every day? Every day. I see. Every day. That is interesting. Yeah. Okay. So it is the, the fluid that you sell. The, the liquid. Yeah. The liquid. We call it litex. Litex. That is what litex. you sell. Yeah. The litex is what we, we sell. To the, the people. The, the company. To, exactly. You know, to, turn to turn it into, into something, something, something to before they export. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I see. Now, what do you make of your general overview of farming in Ghana and farmers? The, um, the, the kind of intervention government is giving you, subsidies and all that. What do you make of this? Is there anything else you think we can do to make farming better? I, I think um, farming is a great venture. Mm. I've been a farmer for a full-time farmer, I would mm -hmm. say, for like four years. Mm. And, and, and I've seen what I can make out of it. Mm. So I can, talk, I can speak for myself. Of course, speak for um, I think it's something that if you take it very serious, mm -hmm. If you're really serious about it, you can really make something great out of it. Mm. It's a whole business. I'm mm. a full-time farmer. Okay. I don't do any other thing mm. apart from being a farmer. I mean, it's not just um, rubber. I do cocoa. Mm. I do coconut. Mm. I do rubber. Mm. I do plantain. Mm. I do cabbages. I do green Please peppers. Please come and sponsor Ghani you know? okay. You so, have money. Uh, come it's, it's and sponsor It's not just about sponsoring. <laughs> it's about right. taking it serious okay. and being... And doing it well. Exactly, doing it well. Okay. You, can, you can make something great out of it. Right. It's a whole business. Let's then, talk about land, I mean, leasing. Yeah. How did you come by the land? It's so a very important it's, thing. It's, it's a bit tricky okay. when it comes to land. Mm. Um, yeah, I buy it. Free, I buy it like a, it's personal. You like you buy it, we don't, don't lease. lease. You don't lease. Of course, Ghana they tell like hundred years or uh -huh. something, just like any other uh -huh. land that you mm. actually purchase. Mm. So I buy my land outright. Mm. You have to try and do your thorough in investigation before you buy it. Right. There's a lot of litigations mm. here and there. Um, yeah, I've had my own share of litigations, but f yeah, it, everybody, mm. every, it's everywhere. So I, there are a couple of lines around. Mm. If you want it, try and see the right owner, speak to them. Mm. And yeah, there are a couple of lines around. What's the future for you as a farmer and what you're doing? I am not just looking at myself. Mm -hmm. I'm looking at trying to create employment. Mm. As it stands, I'm employing about 40 people mm. that I pay every month. Mm. Um, it's just an honor to mm. do that. And, I wish not n not just farming, but then trying to create creating employment out of farming. It's something that a lot of people can get work to do, can can get job to do. Uh, people can get their 
daily wages out of being a farmer, I mean through me. Mm. So um, I think that um, uh, going forward, it's something a lot of people should go into, not just look at themselves mm. trying to make money out of it, but to create employment where people don't have that knowledge mm. to create things like this. But through your knowledge, mm. other people can also make, mm. get their ends meet from okay. you. Yeah. Okay, so there you have it. Junior Chama Wuntu. <laughs> He's the CEO of KR Farms, 40 acre of rubber, you know, plantation farm. There's another farm. Uh, we'll be going there for you to have a look at how the harvesting is done and uh, everything that, you know, they get from the tree before they take it to the factory and it's processed for you to get your well. And I mean, I'm wondering what we are going to do on what can we make with this. But coming up, a 60 seconds on our break, after which an extension officer joins me to tell me a little bit more about technicalities when it comes to this line of farming. But I'll be back after this. Stay with me. <music> Agric Extension Officer Oredu Jamra. He is here in Asamayan Kese. Thanks for joining me. Uh, quickly, is there any special reasons why the rubber is planted in rows? Thank you very much for the question. Mm -hmm. yeah. We, as an agric officers, advise all our farmers to plant their crops in row. And one major reason for doing that is that when you plant crops in row, you are able to maximize the use of the land. If you, don't, if you plant it haphazardly, the number of trees that is supposed to go on a land will not be able to, you will not be able to meet it. So if you are able to arrange it well, you make good use of the land. So that is why we advise the farmers to plant in rows so that a lot of the tree or the crop can occupy the same piece of land, mm. which either two would have been maybe taken over by a small number of mm. trees. Again, I asked uh, Kwame, but let me ask you again. Yeah. Uh, why? Add fertilizer to rubber because rubber <laughs> we don't consume rubber, oh. yeah. we use for Wellington boots. For Wellington boots. <laughs> yeah, good. The fertilizer in itself gives additional nutrients to the soil. Okay. You know, the rubber is going to be on the soil mm -hmm. for more several years and it's going to deplete the soil of its nutrients. Mm -hmm. But when you add on, it, it means that every time there's going to be nutrients in the soil for the rubber to use. Mm -hmm. When there's enough nutrients in the soil, the rubber is able to grow fast. Mm -hmm. And uh, like he said, mm -hmm. you'll be able to even harvest before the seven years estimation. Okay. Uh -huh. So it is important okay. that when you plant, mm -hmm. you add nutrients. Does, does rubber need any special uh, soil or form of soil tester or moisture to grow well? Or mm -hmm. any place at all you can grow rubber? Basically, like it needs nutrients. Okay. So soil that is basically sandy. Uh -huh would not uh, hit that wall for the crop. Okay. So you need an area where you, ha you can have some small amount of nutrients in it, and then it needs to uh, stand there firm. Mm -hmm. So if you plant it in a sandy soil, it is not going to grab the soil. Small wind mm -hmm. will blow it mm -hmm. away or will let it fall. Mm -hmm. So you have to get a land mm -hmm. that the soil is a little bit compact mm -hmm. so that it can hold the tree firm. Mm -hmm. so okay. that's basically why. Right, as it stands now, we are not even to, able to meet the demand for rubber. Yeah. I mean, in Ghana. Okay. What do you think, from a technical point of view, this is a very good crop that has a viable market. Yeah. What do you think we can do, stakeholders can do, to help boost this sector? Thank you. I think the, the challenge that we are having is that a lot of farmers are not aware mm. of the kind of revenue that they are going to get when they cultivate mm. rubber. Mm. So we 
as extension officers are currently on the field trying to sensitize farmers to see the need to go into rubber production and we are on it if you come to Asamayin Kesi as at now, I think most of our farmers that we are working with are having at least an acre of rubber. So once they start harvesting, uh, they will tell the story themselves okay. and then they will, a lot of people that will attract investors, invest including it. government as well. Okay. Let a lot of people go right. into rubber production. Right. So, yeah. Oredu Jamra, aka Asamayin Kesi. That's how we <laughs> call him. But he throw more light on the technicalities of rubber plantation farm. My name is Anyinam and this is Ghanaian Farmer. Coming up is what can we make with this? What, <laughs> what can we make with rubber? Enjoy this amazing segment. Agriculture is the food basket of a nation and therefore the heart of Ghana. It contributes up to 54% of Ghana's GDP and account for over 40% of export earnings, at the same time providing over 90% of the food need of the country. This is due to the hard work of the Ghanaian farmer. Join me and your name as we visit the farm, the market and agricultural based industries. That's not all, we will also bring you recipes for finger licking delicacies made with crops grown by the Ghanaian farmer. The Ghanaian farmer. Business tilling the land. Welcome to What Can You Make With This on the Ghanaian Farmer. My name is Enyonam. Share your views with us on today's episode on our social media platform. And remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel, The Ghanaian Farmer. Today's segment focuses on natural rubber. It takes about seven years for rubber to grow to a point where it's economical to harvest the sap, which is called latest. The latest is then refined into rubber that is ready for commercial processing. Here's how rubber is harvested. Natural rubber can be used in a varied range of applications. It is widely used in home and in industrial environments. Some of the products made out of rubber are pencil erasers, rubber bands, Wellington boots, car ties, raincoats, mattresses, garden shoes, bath tap, etc. Agriculture is the food basket of a nation and therefore the heart of Ghana. It contributes up to 54% of Ghana's GDP and accounts for over 40% of export earnings, at the same time providing over 90% of the food need of the country. This is due to the hard work of the Ghanaian farmer. Join me and your name as we visit the farm, the market and agricultural based industries. That's not all, we will also bring you recipes for finger licking delicacies made with crops grown by the Ghanaian farmer. The Ghanaian farmer, business tilling the land. Thanks so much for joining us. I believe you've learned something. If you have any comment or any view, just hit us up on our social media platform, The Ghanaian Farmer. Bye for now.